song got you in the mood for Easter, it got you excited, um, because today's a great day, right? You might be asking, why is today such a great day? Well, that's because the tomb was empty. And when you hear something's empty, I know sometimes that might make you a little sad, right? If you hear like an empty pinata or an empty Easter egg or um, an empty box instead of a present, that sounds like it would be a sad thing, but the tomb being empty is actually an amazing thing. It means that Jesus gave us new life. And so I'm gonna share a quick video with you to kind of help you understand why we celebrate Easter, um, what happened, and why we are so happy today. So check it out. After hanging in agony on the cross for hours, Jesus cried out, It is finished, and he surrendered his spirit to God. Despite his sadness, Joseph of Arimathea, a man who was secretly a disciple of Jesus, knew that to ensure Jesus had a proper burial, he had to do it before the quickly approaching Sabbath. Grief-stricken, Joseph went before Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor, to ask if he could remove Jesus' body from the cross. After Pilate gave him permission, he and Nicodemus went to the cross with a large amount of myrrh and aloes to anoint Jesus' body for burial. Together, Joseph and Nicodemus carefully wrapped Jesus' body in strips of linen with burial spices in accordance with Jewish tradition. Near the place where Jesus was crucified, there was a garden where a tomb had been cut out of the rock, something only wealthy people could afford. This tomb belonged to Joseph, and no one had yet been laid to rest there. It was in this tomb that Joseph and Nicodemus laid the body of Jesus. Before they left, they rolled an enormous stone in front of the tomb's entrance, sealing it shut. Before the sun had risen on Sunday morning, Mary Magdalene gathered the spices and perfumes she had prepared to complete the burial customs for Jesus and made her way to the tomb. When she arrived, she discovered the giant stone had been rolled away and the tomb was empty. Deeply distressed by what she had seen, she ran as fast as she could to tell the disciples Peter and John what had happened. They've taken our Lord's body and we don't know where, Mary exclaimed. After hearing Mary's account, Peter and John sprinted to the tomb. John arrived first, but he did not enter the tomb. Without hesitation, Peter walked into the tomb and noticed that the strips of linen that Jesus had been wrapped up in were laying empty in a pile, and the burial cloth that was placed over his head and face was neatly folded next to them. As John entered the empty tomb, he didn't fully understand what had happened but he believed that Jesus had risen from the dead. Puzzled by what they had seen, Peter and John returned to their homes. Too upset to return home with Peter and John, Mary Magdalene remained at the empty tomb. As she wept, she looked up through her tears into the tomb, and she saw two angels in dazzling white robes. They were sitting where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and one at the foot, Seeing Mary's tears, the angels asked, Woman, why are you crying? Still sobbing, Mary replied, They have taken my Lord away, and I don't know where they have put him. As Mary turned away from the angels to make her way home, she saw a man had been standing behind her. But this was no ordinary man. It was Jesus. Somehow Mary did not recognize Jesus. She thought he was the gardener. Jesus asked Mary, Why are you crying? Who are you looking for? Mary, still thinking he was the gardener, begged him, If you have taken him away, please tell me where so I can get him. Then Jesus called Mary's name, and suddenly she recognized that the man was Jesus. She exclaimed, Teacher, and fell to her knees to worship at his feet. Jesus told Mary to go tell the disciples. 
After hearing Mary's report of what happened at the tomb and that she had seen Jesus, the disciples gathered together behind locked doors, afraid of what the Jewish leaders might do to them. Suddenly Jesus appeared among them in the locked house and said, Peace to you. The disciples were overjoyed to see Jesus with their own eyes. After Jesus had shown them the wounds in his hands and his side, he told the disciples that they would continue his mission, going throughout the world and preaching God's love. video and I hope that it really helped you understand um, what Easter is about, why we celebrate Easter, why the tomb being empty makes us so happy. Um, but having Easter straight after having Good Friday, which if you watched you know, a service or you came to service on Good Friday, that's a kind of a sad day, right? Everybody was a little bit um, more calm, um, not as many smiles. I thought, you know, why don't we walk through some of the emotions leading up to Easter so we can fully understand why we're happy. Um, so I brought some little friends here to help me out. You guys all know what these are, right? Some emojis. Maybe you've seen them on the Emoji Movie or you're on Kids Messenger or you've just seen them around. Everybody talks about emojis, right? Um, so this is our first emoji, okay? Um, I'm sure you guys kind of can tell. This is a smiling face and this is a happy emoji. Um, so this emoji kind of reminds us of how happy everybody was to see Jesus when he came to Jerusalem just a week before he was crucified. So if you can remember, this was just last week on Palm Sunday. If you remember, we were waving our palms. Um, we were saying, Hosanna, Hosanna. We were happy, right? Everybody was so happy happy to see Jesus. Um, <coughs> so this was a happy time. Then we have another emoji here. This emoji. If you look here, there's some dollar signs for the eyes and a dollar sign on the tongue. I'm going to call this the money eyes emoji. Um, I'm sure you've seen this one before. Um, but this emoji reminds us that many powerful people became angry with Jesus. Um, because he claimed to be the son of God. They decided they needed to kill Jesus and even paid one of Jesus' friends and followers um, you know, to help them do just that. Um, that's when Judas betrayed Jesus, um, just as Jesus said would happen at that Last Supper. Um, which, Last Supper, if you were paying attention this week, that was Monday, Thursday. Um, so that was when they had the Last Supper. Um, and Jesus said, somebody is going to betray me. And that was Judas and he took money to do it. So that's why we have our money eyes emoji. Um, shortly after we were all happy, somebody wanted money to betray Jesus. So now our next emoji. This one's pretty sad, right? This one, a little sad face, tear. Um, so obviously this is our sad emoji face. Uh, we call this the crying emoji. So this emoji is going to remind us that our sin caused Jesus to suffer, okay? Because we sinned, we disobeyed God, we deserve to be punished, but Jesus loves us so much that he took the punishment for us, even though it hurt him, obviously, very much. And this is why, on what we call Good Friday, we're actually pretty sad. I know it might be confusing when you hear Good Friday. You're thinking that's the happy day, um, but it's not. It's kind of a sad day. That's the day that Jesus died. He took our pain and he died on the cross just for us. Um, so this helps us to imagine the pain Jesus um, had, and it kind of makes us sad, right? And if you think of anybody in pain, it makes you sad. All right, so we have one more emoji this emoji here. Um, obviously we got a smile here, it's a happy emoji, but we also have a little halo up here, um, kind of like a little angel, right? So we're gonna call this our angel emoji. Um, this angel emoji reminds us that the angels who told Mary that God had raised Jesus from the dead. And when Mary saw Jesus alive, she was so happy. And she ran and told everybody the good news that Jesus is alive. And that is still the best news that we can actually share with our friends today even. And that's why we are happy today because Jesus has risen. And if you are in church right now with your parents, you would know that when the pastor says, he has risen, everybody in the church responds with, he has risen indeed, hallelujah, because it is a wonderful day. We are so happy he has risen um, because what does that mean for us? It means we have new life. Um, so, 
So I hope these emojis kind of helped you understand the emotions behind these past few days because it's been a lot of different emotions, right? Um, and I also hope that the video kind of helped you understand why we're so happy today, why today's such a great day. Um, like Mary didn't recognize the man that was standing right in front of her in the Garden of Jesus. Do you remember that part in the video? Um, we often don't recognize Jesus in our own lives today. Um, we're never alone. Jesus is, and the Holy Spirit are always with us. Um, everyday life can be hard. You know, we've had quarantine, we've had to be out of school and sports and things like that. It can be hard, but if we really pay attention and we look, we can see where Jesus has had his hand in making something um, right or something better for us. We grow and we learn from the things that we experience in our life, both good and bad. Um, everything in life shapes us and God uses these experiences to help us accomplish specific missions that he created for us. It's kind of like we're God's little ninjas with our missions, right? Um, when we get to heaven, we'll understand why everything happened in our lives the way that it did. Um, so we just have to know that God is with us always. So now, if you requested a kid's pack, or I guess if your parents did, you probably got a bag that looks like this on your front porch. Um, if you did not request a kid's pack, that's okay. Um, with this video posted, we are gonna post some links for both a color sheet um, and a maze. So you'll have those, um, but these are also in the kid pack too. So you can have your parents print those out and you can color those um, and uh, have some fun. Um, otherwise, I'll show you what's all inside your kid pack so you know what you're doing. Okay, and obviously if you look on the bag, it says rejoice, we're happy, we're rejoicing that the tomb was empty. Um, so we have a couple of things in here. I'll show you kind of the fun things first. We have a little ball, it says oh happy day, um, that Jesus is risen. This is so that you can have fun today. This is for you to enjoy the day. We are happy today, the tomb was empty. We have a little Easter egg in there. There's something in the Easter egg. This is not an empty Easter egg. There's something fun. You will see what it is. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and then you've got um, a cool little uh, activity with like a maze, a um, little code puzzle, coloring stuff. And we did include also some crayons in your pack. Um, and you're gonna also use your crayons on this. This is a really cool thing. So this is a little plant pot. And actually, if you take the colored part out, this piece of paper, It, but this little piece of paper comes out of here way easier than I'm making it look. <laughs> uh, but it actually comes right out. There we go. So it comes out like this. Use your crayons. Make this super pretty and colorful and beautiful. And then just put it right back inside and put this inside here. You got a baggie. You might be going, why did we get a baggie of dirt? Well, because Jesus gave us new life, so we are going to plant a wonderful plant. Um, there's two seeds you can see right inside here. It's kind of taped inside. Um, so what you're gonna do is put a little soil in the pot, put your seeds, put a little soil on the top, give it some water and get it lots of sun. Um, if you take care of this plant, make sure it kind of stays, you know, with some water and stays in the sun, you should see a sunflower. Well, you should see some sprout, uh, the little sprout coming up in about two weeks. Um, and then in three months, you could have a fully grown sunflower. Isn't that really cool? So I hope our little Edgewater kids are also farmers and will take some cool pictures as their sunflowers all start to blossom and become beautiful. Um, so I hope that turns out great. So um, enjoy your kid packs. We'd love for you to, you know, put a hashtag Edgewater Kids on there so we can see or share it with us, tag us, because um, we want to see what you create and see your flower as it's sprouting new life. Um, so let's go ahead and close in prayer. So everybody uh, fold your hands and close your eyes and repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your son to die for our sins. Thank you for giving us new life and the plan you have for our lives. Help us to recognize your work in our lives and place our trust in you. We ask these things in Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. We'll see you back here in a week.
Happy Easter!